Uh, this is our filter. As I said, I prefer to use the genuine Suzuki because uh, it has the right size of uh, holes inside for the oil to flow and it can handle the right oil pressure. Make sure that when you buy a new one to check this uh, plastic seal that uh, it is not broken and any dirt is inside. The next thing that uh, we will need, since the quantity of the oil to be changed is uh, 2700 uh, ml, we will thus need three one liter bottles of the, of the recommended oil from the manual. Uh, this is the one I prefer. So we have uh, our containers in place. You can actually use uh, whatever container you want. I use these two so that the oil does not spill out and this one it's a, a normal container I have cut it like that and then I can fill uh, I can open it and fill other containers to take it to the suitable disposal areas so we are going to use a, a wrench again the size of this bolt is 14 for the DL650 and now that our engine and oil are warm we open it we are wearing our glove you have to remember that the draining bolt has also got a washer from the inside part and at some point the oil is going to come out very fast which is about now. This fast flowing is because we have uh, warmed our engine and the, the oil. After you take uh, the draining, the oil draining bolt out, uh, give it a good wipe. This is the, the washer, you can see it. It is actually pressed inside. If you don't uh, if you tighten the draining uh, bolt to the normal uh, torque that the manual says, then you will be fine and you will not need a new one. Otherwise, you will need a new one. After wiping it uh, out, inspect the bolt threads to see if uh, any of them is uh, bent. The upper part here uh, is a small magnet and it keeps uh, small, um, very small particles of iron especially if your engine is new and the metals uh, uh, are touching each other uh, through friction small iron parts uh, will get inside your oil and this is the uh, purpose of this magnet to hold them here the, actually when you are changing uh, the oil um, without the filter change which I never do uh, the manual says that it is supposed to be 2300 uh, ml. Uh, if you change also the filter, which is this one, uh, the quantity of the oil should be 2700 ml. Um, now, my advice is to always change the, the filter, the oil filter. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is to remove the filter so we need the uh, our wrench and this which is, you can also get it uh, from aftermarket um, it says here 21 millimeters this is the one you should use for uh, this bike as soon as you see that it turns very easily you remove it by hand. Uh, again, don't forget that you need to dispose this into special places that collect uh, oil and uh, engine coolant and uh, used filters. Do not throw this away because you, uh, you destroy the environment. Uh, so now, before putting the oil uh, draining plug inside, we will wipe 
the mounting surface on the engine uh, with a clean rag. Make sure it touches the mounting surface. Wipe again with a clean rag. And now we are ready to tighten the draining bolt or the draining plug to the specified torque. So a special uh, torque wrench that can handle uh, from uh, 20 newton meters onwards and above uh, because uh, the draining plug requires 21 newton meters of force to tighten to the right torque. So take your torque wrench with the 14 uh, nut and adjust it to 21. So now we start to tighten our draining plug and when the uh, 21 newton meters is reached it will not let us uh, go beyond that with uh, danger of ruining the plug which is that. If you can hear this sound this is not letting us go beyond 21 newton meters. So now after uh, tightening the uh, oil plug to the specified torque we take a clean uh, rag or a clean cloth and we wipe the mounting surface of where our new filter is going to be placed. So now we take our new filter, we have removed uh, the plastic seal as I told you before we take uh, from a cup of uh, clean oil and apply or um, smear a, a thin film of new oil uh, around the rubber gasket of the new oil filter because we will need to either uh, tighten the filter, the oil filter to the specified torque or to make two complete uh, turns clockwise uh, I will choose the second uh, method and for this I'm taking a simple sticker putting it like so sticking it to the front part of the oil filter so that I measure my two clockwise turns we begin to put the filter by hand and we turn clockwise until the gasket of the oil filter uh, contacts the mounting surface. Here a small resistance is felt and from this position we will make two complete turns clockwise. Next we clean the filter around the gasket fill our uh, engine with oil, new oil uh, we unscrew the oil filler cap which in my case has got also a thermometer on top uh, to check when the engine has uh, an appropriate temperature if I want to push it a bit further we take the oil filler cap out clean it a bit then clean the mounting surface with a rag or clean cloth <coughs> put our funnel inside and start pouring our oil this is uh, our last bottle of the three we have already put uh, two one little bot one liter bottles inside and from this one we will pour 700 ml in total 2700 ml now we have put our oil uh, uh, filler cap uh, and although uh, in the glass where you can check uh, the oil level it is above full this is because the, the oil has not uh, circulated in the engine 
throughout the engine yet. It is all here. So now the next step is to start the engine so that it can um, start to circulate the, the oil. And then you check again. Don't forget, you always need to check in a leveled surface. So we start our engine. Now the engine oil is circulating and uh, we need to check with uh, our hand or uh, a clean uh, cloth for any oil leakage the places where we will check is the uh, drain uh, plug and the oil filter so after we have waited uh, with the engine running for about two or three minutes and uh, then we stopped the engine and waited for another three minutes for the oil to, to drop after it has circulated the engine uh, parts we can now see in the oil inspection window that uh, the oil that we have put which is actually not 2700 ml but below uh, is uh, just about in the middle of the level so we need to uh, put some more inside so now I pulled some and I'm checking. That's it. That should be fine now. We will repeat the same procedure of uh, running the engine for 3 minutes and then stop and uh, wait 3 minutes more to check the oil inspection window. And of course don't forget to check again uh, for any leaks. Now we will dispose uh, the used uh, parts. First of all, drop the oil of the filter as much as you can in the filter containers. Then put the filter, the oil filter, back to its box or the new box that you have from the new filter. We measured the quantity that came out from the engine, the quantity of the oil. And it is uh, about the same as the one it was poured uh, in the beginning, which means uh, it's roughly 2700 uh, ml. So that means that uh, our engine functions properly. It does not consume oil or burns it. But the, most the, but the most important part of this procedure is this, to dispose appropriately the used oil